Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I found, thank you, and you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Sylvia, how are you feeling today? You okay? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Sylvia. ¿Qué no le pasó, pues? Ay, no estoy muy bien, pero aunque sea un momento me voy a quedar. Ah, qué bueno, Silvia. Entonces lo que podemos hacer es eh, nada más escuche la clase y vamos a tener en cuenta para no, bueno, si no participa o si de repente se siente muy mal, pues ahí solo nos manda un mensajito. Está bien, Good muchas evening. gracias. Everyone. Good evening. Son estos cambios de clima quizá, pero yo sí de repente me siento como que me va a dar algo, pero no me dan nada. <laughs> sí. And that's probably. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, I think it is because we are almost done in Christmas. Uh, do you have any plans for Christmas? What are you going to do? Any plans for Christmas? Plans? No. We're plan. gonna, we're gonna cook. Okay, so you're going to cook or your wife is going to cook something special, your mother maybe? <laughs> no, me, I cook. You cook, really? Yes. What are you going to cook for this Christmas? Yeah, chicken. Oh, chicken with uh, sauce and potatoes? Yes. Great, excellent. That's um, I think it's the, the 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 most common food, and, and we cannot miss the 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 pines with chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bread with chicken on December is a must. Eso no debe okay. faltar. So that's okay. nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what we usually do. Uh, either the twenty fourth or the thirty first. It's bread with chicken. And then it can be a uh, grilled meat or yes, different kind of food, but one or two or, or the second day, it's bread with chicken. Y el recalentado, ¿verdad? So, <laughs> I remember one year I tried to change the tradition and it, it didn't feel good. <laughs> Me hizo falta recalentado y dije, hoy vamos a cambiar y no hice ese pollo en salsa. Después me arrepentí porque al siguiente día que bien se siente no cocinar, solo calentarme. Anyway. <laughs> and the rest of you, any plans? Are you going to decorate the house? No? Um, my wife. Your wife is going to decorate. Are you yes. going to help her? Yes. Excellent. Good husband. Nice, yeah. but then also remember to help her to take off the decoration. No la dejes sola cuando tenga que quitar la decoración. Yeah, that's what normally happened. Uh, I started to decorate, ya decoré todo y puse un montón de cosas. Ojalá me ayude. <laughs> si no, no le vuelvo a decorar. <laughs> so nice. Anybody else, any plans? Have you already decorated? No. Try to practice. Practiquemos el going to. Yeah. For example, my, I can. Uh -huh, my, good evening, my son and my girl, my child, uh, going to the decorate in December. Oh, your son. Is it a, a boy and a girl? Exactly. Okay, so your son and your daughter. My daughter so, so, are going you. to decorate. Excellent. To decorate. Oh, you. nice. Nice. And who's going to cook? Um, chicken or pork. Oh, pork is delicious as well. Yeah. <laughs> I love pork. <laughs> exactly. Nice. Yes. Perfect. Um, anybody else? Blanche, you want to share? Are you going to buy presents maybe on the Black Friday? Any plans for Black Friday?
Is anybody going to go shopping on Black Friday? Only necessary shopping. Ah, oh, you're going to buy only the necessary things. Okay, good. I'm thinking I'm getting a, a new pair of shoes. Maybe I can find a good bargains on the Black Friday. <laughs> Tal vez encontramos buenas ofertas y vemos ahí que es necesario. Vaya. Nice. Okay, so remember that for... Um, for today, you must have completed the exercise from section one and section two. Los ejercicios de ambas secciones deben de estar finalizados, sección uno y dos, aunque pues ya sabemos que la dos todavía no la empezamos, la vamos a empezar mañana, pero los ejercicios siempre tienen que ir adelante. ¿Verdad? So, y ya después de este comercial, si no hay preguntas, vamos a comenzar a... Where did we stop with the presentation? Okay, so the last class we stopped here. Nos detuvimos aquí justamente donde tenemos que hacer la práctica del, del el futuro usando be going to. Tenemos una conversación que es um, happy birthday que ya la practicamos y pues teníamos la estructura de las preguntas. En este caso solo son yes, no questions. Eh, tenemos a um, recordar que la estructura es primero pues el verbo to be. Siempre tiene que ir am, um, is o are. Luego el sujeto. Luego pues el auxiliar going to. Después de going to tenemos que escribir el verbo. Luego del verbo el complemento y al final cerramos el signo de pregunta y teníamos um, ahí tenemos el, el pequeño screenshot de la explicación que se nos dio el video de la estructura de cómo formar yes no questions con el be going to. También teníamos unos ejemplos. Tenemos el primero que es are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I am not. I'm going to stay home. Then we have, is Kayla going to cook dinner for you? Yes, she is. She's going to cook a special dinner. No, she's not. She's going to order takeout. Are your friends going to be there? Yes, they are. They are going to stop by after dinner. No, they are not. They are going to be away all weekend. Y se nos recomienda practicar hacer preguntas, ¿verdad? Formular preguntas eh, con esta estructura. Um, y lo podrían hacer eh, tomando en cuenta pues lo, lo que viene, ¿verdad? Um, Ok, um, por ejemplo, si queremos preguntar, eh, ¿vas a tener una fiesta? ¿Cómo sería una yes, no question eh, basándonos en la estructura que acabamos de ver? Are you going to, to have a party? Ajá. Uh -huh. Are you going to have a party? Are you going to have a party? Exacto. Esa sería... Una yes, no question para el, el tiempo que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Are you going to have a party? Uh -huh. Ok, si quiero saber si su jefe le va a dar un regalo a usted, ¿cómo le haría la pregunta? Quiero saber si su jefe le va a dar un... Ajá. Is your uh, jefe boss? Is your boss going to... Going to... Uh -huh. uh, give. Give, give a present. Give. 
Okay, a contract renewal. <laughs> Solo la renovación de contrato, tal vez. Okay, is your boss going to give you a present? Muy bien. ¿Qué más podríamos preguntar? Uh -huh. Quiero saber si tú vas a ver los juegos artificiales. ¿Vas a ir a ver los juegos artificiales? Los pollos, las luces, pollo campero. Are you... Uh -huh. Are you going, going, going to, to go? see? Going to go to see. Uh -huh. Mm, fireworks. Uh -huh. Are you going to see the fireworks? Uh -huh. Muy bien. To see the fireworks. Are you going to see the fireworks? Mm -hmm. Ahí no agregaríamos el verbo ir. Podemos agregarlo. Are you going to eh, go? Y tenemos que separarlo del sí. Are you going to go to see the fireworks? Mm -hmm. Any other? ¿Qué más podríamos preguntar? Veamos, otra tradición, ¿verdad? De Navidad es la preparación de tamales. Normalmente los hace mamá. Quiero preguntar, eh, que si, si tu mamá va a cocinar tamales, si va a preparar tamales tu mamá. Hagamos la pregunta. Is your mother. Excelente. Is your mother. Going to. Uh, Mother, ajá. Uh -huh. Going oh. to prepare. Y tamales, pues no cambia, ¿verdad? <ríe> tamales. Is your mother going to prepare tamales? Yes, excellent. No faltan en Navidad. Ok, so that would be the question. Y eso pueden hacer, pues ahorita han hecho un excelente trabajo, pues no está de más primero pensar qué quiero preguntar y después hacerlo así para seguir la estructura. Luego pues se nos va a ir quitando esa costumbre de pensar primero para traducir y ver cómo la vamos a ir formulando. Pero sí, eh, ¿cómo sienten esto? ¿Está fácil? Sí, está bien. Yes, es, está bastante fácil, ¿verdad? Excelente. So, luego teníamos el, el video de la reduction of going to, que era lo que preguntaban, ¿verdad? Que porque es que no se oye en la conversación que estábamos practicando la semana pasada, no se escucha que digan going to, sino que se escuchaba como? Gonna. Gonna. I gonna. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So, uh, let's see the the video about the reduction of going to let me vamos a compartir sonido y pues ahorita procedemos a ver el video hi everyone in this class you learn how to sound natural when talking about future plans by reducing be going to let's start by listening to the pronunciation of going to reduction of going to are you gonna have a party no I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. When spoken, going to is usually going to sound as gonna. Let's analyze the examples one more time. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. 
as I mentioned in a previous class in which I talked about pronunciation. Pronunciation is one of the most difficult to learn in English. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal. And if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Okay, so that's basically what we have about the pronunciation and the reduction of gonna. Como, eh, bueno, discutíamos la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Es como a usted se le haga más fácil, ¿verdad? Es going to or gonna is the same, is basically the same. Y la manera, a la mejor forma de aprender pronunciación es escuchar y pues imitar lo que escuchamos. A veces confunde un poco si queremos leer y, y repetir porque pues o sea, ustedes ya saben que el inglés se escribe de una forma y se pronuncia de otra. Entonces pueden tratar de ir primero leyendo, identificando los sonidos, cómo se pronuncia cada palabra y después simplemente escuchar con cuidado y repetir, ¿verdad? Que es de la misma manera que aprendimos a hablar español, ¿verdad? Solo escuchábamos e imitábamos lo que escuchábamos, ¿verdad? Sin saber leer ni escribir, solo es repetir. Y lo mismo es con el inglés. Y luego tenemos el vocabulario de los uh, holidays in United States. Vamos a ver este video y ver qué sacamos de acá. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so we already discussed about, también ya vimos como decimos las fechas. So, Vamos a hablar acerca de estas fechas, como sugiere el ejercicio. And uh, let's see. Um, what well, we have, um, the dates that we had there was, um, vamos a verlos otra vez acá. We have a Thanksgiving. Do you remember when was Thanksgiving? When it's, a it's a celebration. Going to and buy. Uh huh. In November. In, in November. Okay. And when is the date? What is the date for Thanksgiving? For Tuesdays in November. Uh huh. It's the fourth Thursday in November. So it doesn't have a specific date. It has to do with a Every day it can change. Uh -huh. Puede cambiar cada año. Siempre será el cuarto jueves de noviembre. ¿Qué fecha cae esta vez Thanksgiving? 25. Jenny? 
25. Okay, yes, 25 or 25th. 25th. Uh -huh, that's correct, it's the 25th. Uh -huh. Let's remember that we need to use the, tenemos que usar los números ordinales, ¿verdad? And that's okay. Uh, si se entiende, si dicen 25, se entiende. Uh, the correct thing is 25th. Okay, so Thanksgiving, uh, uh, this year is the 25th. Do you have any plans for Thanksgiving? No. No? No. no. Day normal. Okay, it's a normal day for you, okay. Nobody's going to have that day off. Mm, I will have that day off. Ese sí lo tengo libre. But yes, voy a tener clases con ustedes. Del otro trabajo tengo libre. <laughs> but yeah, so. So great. <laughs> yes, I will be teaching. But then the, the rest of the day I'm going to be off and I will probably um, continue decorating. And I'm going to clean my room and um, I'll try to cook something special for that day because I will have plenty of time for cooking. So I'm going to do my best. Um, let's see. Um, let's talk about uh, New Year's Day. What are your plans for New Year's Day? New Year's Day is going to be on January 1st. What are your plans? What are you going to do for New Year's Day? Normally, we're going to go to the beach. Oh, you're going to go to the beach. Excellent. Uh-huh. Anything else? Algo más? Va a ir a la playa, que van a comer, van a comprar allá, van a llevar pollitos, sanguchitos. What are you going to do? Va a ir a la playa y qué más? Eh. Are you going to bring Puyo Campero? No, no, we we go to eat fish and swim in the in the pool. In the pool. Okay, so you're going to um, buy fish and swim in the pool or in the swimming pool. Okay, that's nice. Um, what else? Can you ask another question to another classmate? Mm -hmm. um, to Mr. Mario Valdez. Tell me. Are you going to do anything to uh, at a new New Year's Day? Um, not really. At home, I prefer staying home and. And another day, in another day, uh, go to the beach or go to the pool. Okay, so you're going to stay home. All right, good. Uh, Mario, can you continue? Ask another uh, classmate. Sylvia, are you going to the uh, family and uh, and uh, Thanksgiving or? New Year? No sé cómo responder. ¿Algún plan que tenga para ayudarle? ¿Qué va a hacer ese día? ¿Va a visitar a la familia? Are you going to visit your family? Mm, normalmente siempre paso en casa. No me gusta salir en esos días. Mm, ok, so, entonces puede decir no. I am not going to visit my family. Not. I am going to visit my family. 
I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home. Okay, good. Eh, vamos a cambiar el día. Let's say uh, maybe the February 14. Okay, let's ask the question. Um, Jaime, are you going to do anything special on February 14th? Oh, yes, I am going to invite, uh, invite In my wife at a restaurant. Okay, so you're going to invite, uh -huh, you're going to invite your wife to a restaurant. Uh, which restaurant? Mm. Um, what is her favorite restaurant? The restaurant is, 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 is Chinese food. Ah, Chinese food. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay, that's nice. Uh, can you continue and ask another classmate? Puede preguntarle a otro compañero. Puede ser el mismo holiday o puede cambiar. Okay. Um, a Jonathan. No le, no le he preguntado a Jonathan, ¿verdad? No, pero de todos modos, pues si es un segundo round, es mejor, más práctica. <laughs> Para que practique más. <laughs> ok. Are you going to anything, uh, any, anything especial in the February 14th? Uh, I'm going to invite my wife and Rosa and El Bocarón. Oh, okay, you're going to invite your wife to a restaurant, El Boquerón or in El Boquerón? In El say? Boquerón. Oh, in El Boquerón. Okay, okay, there are. Okay, perfect, good. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to continue here with the conversation. También teníamos la conversación. Let's see. Ok, tenemos la conversación acá. Eh, la escuchamos en la plataforma. Yeah, but we can listen to it again. Uh, vamos a ver si podemos escucharla otra vez desde la plataforma para que eh, hagamos un repaso de la pronunciación. It's my wife to a special restaurant. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form 
wh questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. wh word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get. And finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to. I would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, let's see. This is a conversation. Um, the only different thing is this, the picture. Then the rest is the same. Es la misma conversación, solo el dibujito cambia. Uh, let's review the conversation and tell me if you find any new word that you'd like to know the meaning or maybe a pronunciation. Okay, questions? Any new word or vocabulary? Uh, what is the fancy? Fancy is um, elegante. Y así se pronuncia, fancy. Yes. Mm -hmm. How fancy? Que elegante. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other question? Okay, if there are no more questions, I'm going to create the breakout rooms for you to be able to practice the conversation in groups with your classmates. Yeah, let's get ready. Okay, there you go.
Hi. Bye. ¿Quién empieza? ¿O va a compartir? ¿Alguien tiene para compartir la presentación? Un momento. Creo que se ve bien, ¿verdad? Sí, se ve bien. Yes. Ok. Entonces, vamos por pareja. Hola, vamos seis. Seis, yes. vamos. Cinco. <laughs> Cinco, sí. la misma cuenta. Sí, solo cinco. <ríe> ok. Podemos hacer que alguien se turne y lo haga dos veces. Solo que con diferente... Ajá, con, di con diferente persona para que, para que no, no se sienta extraño o extraña. Ok. <ríe> ok. Si gusta, empiezo. Bueno. No sé quién. Ser un mon... Yo le voy a ayudar con Tyler. A ver, ok. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine Days? I do. I'm going to make, take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Laguna. It's her favorite restaurant. How fancy. She's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Son life fun. Well, have a good balancing day. Thank you. You too. Okay. Okay. Me, Tyler. Um, hola, hola. Puedo empezar entonces. Ok. So, Tyler. Eh, ¿quién... Sí. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I'm going to take my girlfriend, girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Lagunas. At Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. How fancy. She's going to like that. Wow. Oh, what about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go out to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Son like fun. We well, have a good Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay. Next. ¿Quién lo va a hacer dos veces para que lo haga uno de ustedes conmigo? Me. Okay. I can. ¿Empiezo? I can. Yes. Uh, uh, so, Tyler, uh, do you have yes, um, plans? Mm -hmm. 
Hola. I say this. Okay. Okay. So, Tyler, do you have okay. um, plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I am to take my girlfriend for dinner. Oh, really? Where did you go to El? At Laguna. It's her favorite restaurant. <laughs> wow, fancy. She's going to light up. How about you? What are you going to do? Quick, well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to dance. On the spot. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Time to you too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thumbs. Hello. Creo que alcanzamos otra repetición. Okay. Empiezo o empieza usted ya. Eh, si gusta empiezo para cambiar. Hello. Vaya. Empieza. Okay. Hola. Hola, hola, hola. 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 ¿Y cuál es la pronunciación? Creo que no, creo que estoy un poco. Sound like fun, así es. Sí, yeah, solo like escuché fun. una Sound palabra like que uh, siempre recuérdense es favorite. Favorite. Uh -huh. Favorite. Uh -huh. favorite. 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 Es la única. Eh, que escuché que se pronunció uh, it was mispronounced en una ocasión es favorite y el, de ahí lo demás pues está bien so, es cuestión de practicar ya lo hicieron una vez o, o dos cada uno en algunas he oído que han ido ya con un poquito más de confianza pero pueden hacerlo nuevamente eh, ya que repitieron un par de veces la conversación, ya se esperaría que ya lo vayan haciendo con más confianza. La única palabra es esa. Una vez nada más escuché que fue mispronounce, es favorite. De ahí lo demás está todo bien. Muy buen trabajo con la pronunciación. Solo falta hacerlo un poco más fluido. Todavía ah, tienen okay. tiempo para continuar practicando. Ok, okay. thanks. Next, next. Okay, empieza ya. Okay. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I am going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, fancy. She's going to like tech. How are you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you, too. Okay. Valentine's. Valentine's Day. Valentine's. Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, okay. Really, day, but really Valentine's Day for her. <laughs> okay, y los demás? Si quiere, empiece Beatriz Motima. Y then Walter. Okay. Okay. So Tyler. Do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? Valentine days? I do. I, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Hello, alguien levantó la manita por aquí. Necesitan ayuda? Eh, sí, Miss. La verdad es que eh, yo no puedo copiar el, 
el, la práctica de, de la lectura que vamos a, a hacer ahí y, y parece que nadie, nadie de nosotros la tiene. Esa, Esta es la presentación que mandé la semana pasada, pero pues aquí está. Al menos para que practiquen. Es un la misma, de... Sí, es la misma presentación, ahí está todo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces usted, eh, Sandra Mona y yo, Tyler. Quiero Hello. verla bien. Tengo un segundo. Ahorita. Ah, ok. ¿Usted cuál me dice? Ah, Tyler. Ah, ok. Bueno. <laughs> so, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I am going to take my girlfriend all off for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to eat? At Lagunas. It's a hair favorite restaurant. Oh, fans. She's going to like that. To like that. How about, how about you? What are you going to Perdón, perdón. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to, do, to go to Rosa. Mm, lo voy a repetir eso otra vez. Diga. Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant. Um, I'm going to go to the dance. Sun life fun. Wells, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks you. Thanks you too. Okay. ¿Quién más anima de nosotros? Aparte de nosotros. Me. Okay. Siga, continúen. No sé qué más. ¿Quién dice yo con Marvin? Con, ¿Con Marvin? Hello. Ok. Ahí está Johnny. Hello. Ah, ok, con Johnny. Vale. Yes. Este. ¿Cómo me dice yo? Dale, dale. Ok. Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Hello? ¿Quién va a comenzar? Johnny. Hola, ¿te escucho ahí? Hoy sí. Ah, vale. Es que está bien lento el, este internet de aquí. Vale, ahí vamos. Yes. So, Tyler, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? I do. I going to take my goal girlfriend out for dinner oh really where are you going to eat at lagunas it's her favorite restaurant how fancy she's going to like that how about you what are you going to do well i'm not going to go to a restaurant mm -hmm. I'm going to go to dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Right. <laughs> Casi. Yeah, almost time. Mm -hmm. Hicieron un buen trabajo, realmente la, la, las palabras están bien pronunciadas, nada más hizo falta un poco más de fluidez, de, de que lo hubiéramos practicado más, 
para hablar un poquito más rapidito, pero pues la conversación está en la plataforma. Pueden seguir practicando eh, haciendo uso del audio de la plataforma. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Thanks. Ok, see you in the main section. Right. Teacher. Hello. Eh, estaba haciendo una pregunta, pero mis compañeros se había salido del, del grupo. Ah, eh, estaba, uh -huh. ajá, estaba haciendo la pregunta que en este caso donde dice I going to go to a dance, podríamos usar I gonna, I gonna dance o I gonna go dance. Tiene que usar todo, todo. Um, puede decir I'm gonna go. Y el go Ajá. to también se, eh, se como se une eh, y suena como go to. Si pueden, eh, pueden incluso ir al audio en la plataforma y escucharán que dice I'm gonna go to. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go to I'm a dance. I'm gonna go to. Ah. Exacto, excelente. I'm gonna go to a dance. I'm uh -huh. gonna go to a dance. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces es gonna y go to. I'm gonna go to a dance. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay. Uh, recuerden, y aquí tienen la fórmula que es lo que vieron en la plataforma, pues eh, hicieron muy buen trabajo con la pronunciación en los grupos que estuve, nada más pues la recomendación, seguir escuchando el audio en la plataforma y repetir, ¿verdad? Cuántas veces suene hasta que suene ya más fluido, más natural. Eh, recuerden que esto es práctica. También en la plataforma se nos explicó la estructura de las WH questions o information questions. Y se nos mostraba que, pues, primero vamos a poner la WH word dependiendo de qué es lo que queremos preguntar. Eh, luego el verbo to be, um, is, are. Luego el sujeto. Luego el auxiliar going to. Luego el verbo en infinitivo y luego el complemento en caso que haya necesidad de complemento. Y aquí tenemos unos ejemplos. Tenemos where, que es la WH word. Queremos preguntar a dónde. Entonces usamos where como WH word. Luego el verbo to be, en este caso es are. El sujeto, you. El auxiliar, going to. Y el verbo, study. Where are you going to study? Estas preguntas son las que tenemos que responder eh, dando información, dando detalles. No las podemos responder con un sí o con un no. Si me preguntan, where are you going to study? Y yo le quiero decir, uh, voy a estudiar en la casa de mi hermana. I'm going to study at my sister's house. ¿Ok? Otro ejemplo, what, WH word, is, verb be, he, subject, going to, auxiliary, verb, do, y tenemos complemento, tonight. ¿Ok? What is he going to do tonight? Okay. He's going to take her wife out for dinner, for example. Mm -hmm. Y esto, no sé si tienen preguntas con esto de las WH questions. No questions? No questions. Okay. Y acá tenemos unos ejemplos de las WH questions we'd be going to. Let us repeat. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm, going to, yeah. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. How is Mana going to get to the dance? Oh, 
things we're going to get two three things she's going to drive She's not going to take the bus. She's, Where are Tyler and his girlfriend going to eat? They're going to eat at Lagunas. They're going to eat at Lagunas. They are not going to eat at Nick's Cafe. They're not going to eat at Nick's nice Cafe. Okay, now we have to complete these conversations with the correct form of be going to, and then we're going to practice. Tenemos que completarla con la forma correcta del be going to, y luego practicarlas. Pueden ir completando eh, lo que falta en sus cuadernos para que no copien todo. Eh, tenemos la primera ya casi hecha, número uno. Dice, where are you going to spend summer vacation? Y la respuesta dice, my parents and I, tenemos que usar el verbo visit my grandparents. ¿Qué es lo que falta ahí? My parents and I. Going to visit. Mm, solo going mm. to visit. ¿Qué va antes de going to? Um, I am. Um. Ok, sí, es el verbo to be, pero en ese caso utilizaríamos am, is, o are. 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 Ajá. Ajá, dice mm. mis padres y yo. Hablo de nosotros. My parents and I are going visit. to, to visit. visit my grandparents. My grandparents. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que siempre va a ir la estructura con el verbo to be, am, um, is, are, y luego el going to, y luego el verbo sin alterarse, ¿verdad? Entonces, en ese caso sería my parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Y así vamos a ir haciendo lo demás. Les voy a dejar un tiempo para que vayan leyendo y analizando qué es lo que va a faltar para completar. Y le revisamos. For Halloween, I don't know. I mm, not.
Finish. Okay, uh, let's listen a volunteer for number two. Me. Okay. Who are who are you going to going to go going to go to invite to thank thank giver dinner? Okay, who are you going to invite? Ah okay. Uh -huh. To invite. Okay. And the answer y la respuesta. I am going to. Y el verbo ask, ¿verdad? Ajá, I am going to ask, ok. Ajá, excellent. Thank you so much. I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Number three, volunteer for number three. Me. Ok, thank you, Elvis. What are you going to do for Halloween? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything special. Excellent. Excellent job, Elvis. Thank you so much. Uh, number four, volunteer. Who are your parents? Is going to celebration. Celebrate. To celebrate New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. They, they are, are they going, are going, going to, to go. go. Excellent. They are going to go to the neighbor's party. Excellent job. Thank you so much, Jonathan. And finally, the number five. Teria, what are your sister going to do for her birthdays? Mm, sí, pero el verbo what? to be is, is uh -huh, yes. porque el sujeto es su hermana, okay. ella. Uh -huh. what, what is uh, what uh -huh. is your sister going to do for his, her birthday? Uh -huh. Her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Excellent job. Very well done. Es un muy buen trabajo. Al principio es pues, como un poquito de ir ahí analizando qué está pasando y qué es lo que vamos a, a utilizar. Pero, yes, hicieron un muy buen trabajo. Vamos a seguir practicando. Por el momento nos quedamos hasta acá. Se nos acabó el tiempo. Thank you for joining today's section and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good